in my uh, previous uh, video i discussed about the gene expression in eukaryotic cell but uh, uh, there are five stages levels are there i have discussed already but uh, one uh, one and last uh, point was left uh, in last video so today i am discussing about the uh, last and fifth uh, regulation of gene expression in eukaryotic cell which one is the post uh, translational uh, regulation fifth one is the post translational translational regulation of gene expression post translational regulation uh, uh, i have told about the uh, transcriptional post transcriptional translational in case of translation and i have told that uh, if it is uh, subtle uh, to the endoplasmic reticulum the mrna mature mrna then there will be no problem of um, the, the, the degradation of the uh, particular mrna and the protein will be produced and i have also talked about uh, at that time i talked about the uh, discuss about the uh, one thing uh, uh, sig uh, uh, signal recognition particles when signal recognition particles will be attached to the amino acid then it will be the uh, the amino acid total amino acid will be degraded protein will be degraded now the fifth point come to the fifth point actually post translation and when the protein has been already synthesized now the control will be there to maintain the gene expression now, protein is already produced uh, but uh, the protein will be uh, will sustain for uh, how how much time and uh, what will be the it, it will what will be its activity it will depend upon these factors post translational factors and uh, it is very important also uh, because uh, one example of this post translational factor is the enzyme inhibition enzyme inhibition enzyme is a protein you know that uh, and this enzyme can be inhibited by some means uh, there are two generally two means uh, the enzyme can be inhibited or regulated like that one is the competitive inhibition competitive inhibition and another is the allosteric inhibition how it will control the gene uh, protein stability and the protein uh, life span i will discuss about that allosteric inhibition now come to the point first point competitive inhibition what is competitive inhibition actually some uh, particles some molecules can be act as a um, um, actually they have the similar structure of substrate substrate means where the enzyme will act on the particular material is called substrate so some of the particles other than substrates they are almost similar in structure of substrate so what happened in this case they will occupy the active site of the enzyme to block the access of the substrate so substrate will not attach to the enzyme and there will be no reaction so this is the uh, thing or the, in the competitive inhibition happen similar structure will occupy the place of the active site to block the reaction or block the access of the substrate uh, one example of this uh, competitive inhibition is that um, the uh, anti neoplastic drug anti neoplastic drug means 
anti cancer drug anti cancer drug which is known as metho methotrexate methotrexate is a anti neoplastic drug means anti cancer drug is applied for this uh, for this uh, to happen this uh, competitive uh, competitive inhibition of the enzyme because this drug has the similar structure of fol folic acid folic acid vitamin folic acid uh, so they will block the access of folic acid to the uh, some enzyme dihydrofolate redu reductase the um, access to the active site of the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme so that the, uh, the so prevent the uh, regeneration of dihydrofolate from tetrahydrofolate actually it is the dihydrofolate is required for the cell division so uh, if you um, uh, apply this drug methotrexate uh, the anti neoplastic drug it will block the in, uh, enzyme activity it is uh, it is resist the enzyme activity of dihydrofolate reductase to for the required for the cell division uh, dihydrofolate will be required for the cell division for to um, re, uh, to uh, resist the to prevent the regeneration of dihydrofolate which will be required for the cell division and it will stop the it will uh, it will be happened in the malignant cell in case of cancer and to destroy the malignant cell but uh, what uh, what is happened in this case this methotrexate not only block the cell division resist uh, protect the, uh, prevent the cell division of the malignant malignant cell it is also uh, preventing the uh, cell division of the healthy cells so this is the problem of that drug but it will very effective for cancer treatment now it is uh, one example of competitive inhibition and second one is the allosteric inhibition what happened in the allosteric inhibition uh, enzyme has two site one is active site where the uh, particular substrate will be attached to the enzyme this is called active site and another is the uh, just opposite to the active site there will be another site this is called allosteric site so some particle will be uh, act as all allosteric uh, material which will attach to the enzyme to change the shape of the uh, active site to resist the attachment of the substrate to the enzyme active site now i am uh, explaining with the with some drawing like that uh, this is the enzyme particle like that another case so in this case you can see that this is the allosteric activator and this is the allosteric site allosteric activator and this is the allosteric site this is the allosteric site and here same enzyme what happened here that the shape of the active site this is active site this is substrate this is substrate and this is the active site it will be attached uh, um, uh, as it is so the substrate this is substrate substrate can be attached here due to the shape of this enzyme it is not changed the shape of the enzyme is not changed it is substrate 
it is also substrate this is also substrate uh, and another case this is allosteric inhibitor this is allosteric inhibitor in this case what happened uh, the uh, inhibitor inhibitor so in this case when the allosteric inhibitor attached to the allosteric site just opposite to the active site the shape of the active site will be changed and uh, for this reason the substrate will not be able to attach with this um, uh, at this site active site of the enzyme and the reaction will not be happened so this is the case uh, how the allosteric inhibitor will uh, control the regulation or gene expression or activity of the protein particularly enzyme so uh, but this type of allosteric and com competitive inhibition of enzyme is not permanent it uh, can, uh, enzyme can be activated when it will be needed so it is more efficient then they are degrading the enzyme when it is not needed and when it is needed the um, more production of generation more product synthesis of enzyme this is more of efficient process than that because here no uh, no enzyme whole process will be not um, uh, repeated here only the regulation at the post transcriptional level it will be happen so it will be easy to handle so it is very useful uh, and uh, the allosteric inhibitor um, one of the allosteric inhibitor is atp adenosine triphosphate in case of the reaction allosteric inhibitor the example of allosteric inhibitor is the uh, atp in case of the reaction uh, uh, in case of the reaction like that fructose 6 phosphate in the glycolysis glycolysis pathway pathway the fructose 6 phosphate will be converted into fructose 16 fructose 16 diphosphate diphosphate and atp will be converted into adp and here the enzyme will be act uh, uh, phospho phos phospho fructokinase phospho enzyme uses phospho fructokinase so in this case by atp will when the concentration of atp will be more atp will be act as a allosteric material for the for this particular enzyme and stop the reaction and uh, re re prevent this reaction and uh, this is the one example of the um, uh, allosteric uh, inhibition and it is happened in the glycolytic pathway in this is the intermediate reaction uh, when the glucose will be converted into the pyruvate it is the inter intermediate reaction stage so this is the thing and uh, another thing is that the Uh, sometimes the uh, protein activity and the uh, and the um, uh, life protein life will be depended upon the some functional group like acetyl uh, methyl and phosphate group uh, the when this group are attaching with the um, attach with the uh, protein molecule the protein molecule uh, stability will be affected stability and the effect uh, activity will be affected so um, uh, and the also it will also this functional group also regulate where the protein will be present in future like that in the nucleus or in the cytoplasm in the whole which position of the cell it will be located uh, it will decided by the it will be decided by this functional group attached to the protein it is also the post translational uh, regulation of gene expression in eukaryotic cell uh, so 
uh, uh, where, whether it is attached to the plasma membrane, whether it is uh, present in the nucleus or, um, or cytoplasm, it will be decided by that. And another thing is the another material uh, ubiquitin. Ubiquitin. When ubiquitin will be present, uh, when the protein li lifespan is completed, then ubiquitin will be attached with the protein to uh, flag. As a, as a, the ubiquitin acts as a flag, flag or tag indicating the protein uh, lifespan has been completed. So now it is ready for degradation. So when the ubiquitin will be tagged with the protein molecule, it, the whole protein and ubiquitin molecule will go to the proteasome uh, type of one type of organelle present in the cell and they, there the protein will be degraded. So uh, this is also another one type of uh, post translational regulation of gene expression in eukaryotic cell. So the, uh, this is all about the gene expression in eukaryotic cell and uh, uh, those who are watching my uh, all these videos attentively you uh, you can see that the whole thing is uh, the gene expression and the gene heredity uh, the uh, all these things are protein synthesis all these things are very well programmed when we need this it will be produced when we not do not need this uh, they will be the, this uh, protein will not be produced so it is a very good program like computer program language program like uh, uh, computer programming then it comes to the uh, machine language uh, another is the computer language then machine language then uh, your binary language it will be compared like that so many brains are involved there to pre to make a computer language to make a computer program like that here also um, the so very really delicate really very uh, precise control is there but question is that where uh, who has controlled these things who has made these things who has uh, in, uh, uh, who is the maker of this uh, this uh, designer of this program so uh, it will be very big question and uh, science is not able to uh, at this moment science is not able to answer this question it is come to in my mind this question who has written this language for every protein everything and how it is delicately uh, controlled so where science cannot explain anything the uh, spirituality begins begins its path path so uh, from here oh, we have to depend upon uh, uh, almighty how these things is has been produced in our body and how our big machine body has been operated like that by by whose uh, direction this is the question if you get the question who are watching my video please answer me thank you